Is Key Largo the dive capital of the world? Come snorkel with us as we check out the Christ of the Abyss, and a whole lot of fish and algae in the third largest living coral barrier reef in the world. This is Magellan. And this is Greyhound. Where we make videos about epic road trips, kayaking, hiking, and other outdoor adventures. You can see there is absolutely no wind today. That means the water is gonna be flat. That means the water is not going to rock us around while we snorkel. Located an hour south of Miami, Key Largo boasts easy access for both snorkelers and divers in several locations and dubs itself the dive capital of the world. We're headed out for a few hours to the National Marine Sanctuary, where we'll be checking out two spots, the Gresham Rocks and the Dry Rocks. We first begin heading through Largo Sound near John Pennycamp Coral Reef State Park, the first underwater park in the United States, before proceeding through a channel with mangroves on either side. Eventually, we made it out to open water and waited to anchor at our first stop, the Gresham Rocks. Just look at how blue this water is. Our boat was mostly filled with snorkelers, but we did have two people who were there to go scuba diving. After getting our gear on, it was time to snorkel. They gave us pool noodles, which we found helpful too. Gresham Rocks is a popular location to bring snorkelers because it is very shallow and is good even on windy days. We actually snorkeled in the Key Largo area about seven or eight years ago. The water was way too rough and you couldn't see anything. Man, there are so many different kinds of fish here. It's like what you'd see in an aquarium, but way cooler. Feel free to comment with a timestamp on what kind of fish you see, because we have absolutely no idea. That is a jellyfish. I do know that. And here is a small school of barracuda. Here you can get a good sense of how shallow it can be at times. Even though it's shallow, it feels so big and unknown and unfamiliar down here. I love it. Before you know it, it's time to head to the second spot, home to a very, very famous statue. Our next stop is the Dry Rocks, also located in the National Marine Sanctuary, just east of John Pennycamp. You'll know you're there because there will be a bunch of other boats docked there. That boat is filled entirely of scuba divers, who we will get acquainted with very soon. So there's more coral and fish to see here, but we'll check that out later. While our fellow snorkeling compatriots were still putting on their gear, we made a beeline to the Christ of the Abyss, also known as Christ of the Deep, an eight and a half foot high, 4,000 pound bronze statue sitting 25 feet below on the floor of the ocean. The third of its kind and made in the mold of the original, which is located in the Mediterranean Sea off the coast of Italy, the Christ of the Abyss is a sight to behold. The second one made is located off the coastline of Grenada. This is not only a popular snorkeling spot, it is a big time scuba diving destination. This was pretty incredible, not gonna lie. These fish were all around the area and were so beautiful. Again, if you know the species, let us and everyone else know, please. Also, don't touch the statue itself. Over time, it has been covered with fire coral. And unless you wanna feel like you're burning for a period of time, we suggest not touching it. Eventually, all the other snorkelers came. Boo! And another round of scuba divers. We had it for a few minutes to ourselves, people. Did you like the Christ of the Abyss Greyhound? We then proceeded to snorkel around the rest of the area. It was definitely not as shallow as Gresham Rocks, but still wasn't that deep either, except for a few spots here and there that we saw scuba divers exploring. And just like that, it was over, again. On the boat, heading back to Key Largo with some nice late afternoon sun. We soon sated our very big appetites with seafood and drinks. Have you been snorkeling in Key Largo or the Keys? 
Check out our Dry Tortugas video if you want to see some sweet snorkeling too. Otherwise, we'll see you on the trails or in the water.